Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Softcore Brony, welcoming you back to Let's Play My Little Pony Fantasy VI. Uh, now with an improved recording frame rate, hopefully. Last time we had dinner with the Emperor and Twilight and Bloom here are now going to searching for the Respers that went on a rampage. So, we had to go to Alhuf. Night check on a hauling ship? Really? That doesn't seem, you know, suspicious at all. Well, let's see, where are the rest of our friends? Well, there's one of them. AJ apparently has decided to guard Discord. Well, I can kind of understand that. And by the way, Discord still does the same thing he did uh, in the last video. Alrighty then, well. Trying to leave the capital here. Let's see, where's every pony else? Oh, hey, there's Luna and Arvis. Yeah, true. Can't just let them, you know, go on a rampage out there. I agree with you, Luna, but uh, we got no choice at the moment. Hmm. Hey. Hey! Hey! Dang it! It's like he was trying. I, I swear I never tried to do that on purpose. Freaking jerks. Anyway, let's go over here now. Oh, the hipster hangout. Hey, Pinky! Really? It's kind of funny. There is no sugar cube corner in this place. I wonder where it is. Great line, Scootaloo. I'm glad you get so much dialogue in this game. I mean, what? You only get, like, what? Two more lines of dialogue in the whole game? Jeez. Well, anyway, uh... Huh. You know, da Dash doesn't seem to be anywhere in town, no matter where you look. I wonder where she might be. You think perhaps she might be at the airship? Hey, here we are at the airship. Well, heck, where the heck could Dash and, uh... Oh, here she is. Hey, and Sethisto's here! Yeah. Really? Okay. <laughs> ah, Dad doesn't trust him. Thrush pipes. Uh, as I understand it, this is some kind of muffler or something. I'm not really, you know, that into that sort of thing, unfortunately, so... Will be cherry? I have no idea what you're saying there, Seth. In the original game, I believe she, he, uh, su the Sid suggests that uh, uh, they get rid of the casino or something, and that's what pisses off Setzer. And I still have no control here, by the way. And I notice your eyes are corrected uh, when you're sitting down like that. A. Eh? The Wonderbolt, huh? Oh. That eh, makes sense. Sort of like, uh... Ah, eh, never mind, forget that. Disappeared. Aw, oh, that's terrible, Dash. I see. Alrighty. Firefly? Wow. Anyway, Sethisto's gone. I don't know where he went to, but Dash is hanging around up here now. Yep. Well, I'm uh, gonna take the uh, ch hidden chocobo stable back to... Uh, well, not quite all hoof, a little past, because we have somewhere else we need to go. Well, well. Here we are, back at the Imperial base again. Ah, because the Empire opened up that locked door. And holy crud, there is treasures galore in here. Pony at feather. Okay, pony feather. Granny Smith, nothing in that. 
8,000 GP, Brony Cola, Wing Shoes, all right, Elixir, a Flank Guard, a Healing At Band, a Healing Band, okay. Let's see, then we got a, a Wall Band, no, our second free Wall Band there, 20,000 GP, and uh, 13,000 GP. Oh, but wait, don't forget, some crazy pony left a flame tongue in the stove, and don't forget this little hidden gem elixir down here. All right, well, that's all we need here, so uh, I'm going to go the short distance to Allhoof, which is just right around the corner. By the way, I ran from every fight on the way. Anyway, here we are in Alhoof. It's uh, really no different, except for some people have uh, have uh, different stuff to say. The weapons job is still the same or whatnot. And uh, now the port's open. Oh, and well, since we actually have access to the port, we can get this warp stone finally. And actually, this is the first one I've gotten, isn't it? I think. Yeah, this is the first warp stone. Same thing as warp. Warp basically lets you uh, escape from a dungeon instantaneously. Anyway, that's the only thing down here at the port. I see. Okay. Oh, what's that? Trixie! Fluttershy! Didn't we already establish that, you know, in that feast back there that we met General Trixie already? Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was a bit of a tough run there. What's wrong with it? It's got a leak or something? Take the rest of the inn, huh? Well, alrighty. Trixie! Sup, great and powerful? Apparently, she has nothing to say to Bloom. Well, anyway, hey, Fluttershy. Weren't you scared of the Espers a while ago? You said that back when uh, back in, in uh, Las Pegasus. Alrighty. Anyway. Only thing to really do now is uh, stay at the inn over here. And since Sakura's here, well, we get to go in for free. All right. Hmm. However, Bloom apparently is an insomniac. And I guess wants to go exploring. Either that or looting, I don't know. Oh, hey, apparently Trixie's an insomniac too. <laughs> I bet Seth this still likes to, would like to hear that. Trixie! And we get this awesome music again. In more of a music box fashion, of course. I know I didn't trust you, Trixie, but still! Oh, that's basically what she just said. Okay. I guess Trixie's still kind of mad about that. <laughs> you think she liked her or something? Trixie! She is always scowling, isn't she? <laughs> Aw, poor Bloom. Well, anyway, after that short scene... I don't think we can stay for free. Wow, that's a lot of money. No way. There's better ways to heal ourselves. So, back to port. Do, 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 do. Okay. Still? What, all night? <laughs> On with the show, alrighty. And back in our weird colored boat and... We're going up there to that town that I, I showed you like a couple videos back that, you know, we hadn't been to before, which is in the northeast, not west, but I suppose they could have easily gone around, you know, to get to it, but whatever. Yo. Okay. 24 hours? Good grief. Alrighty. Alrighty. 
Well, then again, I've been on a plane trip that was like that. Hey! Eh, oh, fine. Okay, fine, fine. Hey, Zakora! Yeah, apparently, uh, Twilight Sparkle has insomnia now. Oh? Well... Well, yeah, it's kind of surprising you didn't turn out, you know, differently. And yet, everything somehow ends up on you anyway. Well, I guess this is kind of a free will type of thing, isn't it? <laughs> I can... Yeah, I can kind of relate to that. Anyway. Poor Twilight. Yeah. I totally get what you mean, Twy. Uh, yeah, we still can't figure out why you were General Leo is in the Empire. The debates go on. No, no way. I mean, you could, you know, open a library somewhere. Adopt a smart mouth baby dragon or something. <laughs> what? It Well, I mean, I guess it is kind of like your main purpose in the game is to be the main magic user and all that. <laughs> okay, that is a little which only just began. I that is kind of forced. Oh well, I'm sure it's I know I I know how hard it is to make her rhyme sometimes. I don't use her much in my fanfiction. <laughs> I think only twice now in fact. And she relies so heavily on pr the on Princess Celestia. And why is her first assumption Trixie? Is it, did she just really want to talk to her? Or? Hey, Fluttershy, what's up? The it's pitch black out here! How are you gonna watch the dolphins? And you know, in this darkness, you look extremely yellow. Wow. Sure, sure. Um... Very true. And Twilight looks so disappointed. It's like, I thought you had all the answers I was looking for, Fluttershy! Oh, Fluttershy, you're not talking about yourself, are you? I mean, you're always alone just with your dog. Aww. A. Way to ruin the mood, Bloom. Seasick, huh? Did you or did you not? <laughs> and Fluttershy just leaves. Uh, I'm sorry, that is a little out of character for her, I think. Anyway, now that uh, Bloom's uh, threw up all over the place, let's see about getting to the to this uh, little island over here. All right, we're in control of Twilight again. Just one Esper, not all of them. Really? Yeah, we just heard that. Okay, apparently everyone's interested in this Crescent Island. Their raid's so grand. What's with that space after the B there? Or before the B there? Anyway. Trixie or you? D 
Do you ever say anything else? I mean, how often can Zakora hold meetings? Alrighty. Oh, and Fluttershy's coming with us, too. All right. Woof. That sounded kind of weird for me to say that right then, didn't it? <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh, Tracy finally wants to talk. Really, Bloom? Aw, oh, you too. Good grief. I've been surrounded by these romantic idiots for so long! Uh, nothing to say. Nothing to say. Well, anyway, we land way over here. I guess maybe so that we're not like... Oh, the boat's gone. Anyway, uh, I'm going to re-equip the party with Fluttershy, who's actually a level higher now uh, than Bloom, uh, real quick, and I'll be right back. You know, it occurs to me, this is the only time in the entire game in which we absolutely have to have Fluttershy in the party. Every other time is completely optional. And uh, I have Fluttershy there with the Ninja Star. Uh, you might necess not, not necessarily have it yet. I just happen to pick it up back there. Uh, otherwise, the Elizabeth works well, and I figure I might as well have her with the Flank Guard and Quicksilver, because unfortunately she's not going to really be in our party for that long. So, let's get up there to uh, that town. Oh, yeah, as long as I'm here, I might as well show off the basketball enemy. That wasn't quite strong enough. Eh, let's go ahead. Hey! Jerk! I forgot he could even do that. Alright, if she's actually going in circles there instead of dancing back and forth, then it means I totally got the recording uh, thing right. Oh man, jerk! Blue Fluttershy away, but she's still in the party. Just uh, keep that move in mind. It's actually somewhat important later on. Uh, I suppose I could show you the chimeras that are in the forest or something finally, but you know, you basically just kill them the same way I showed you with the basketball there. Uh, so here we are in Themeresa, and for some reason we're facing backwards. Okay, so, Mom! Or Aunt Betty, I don't know. And we're, things are a little different now. We get out of the way. We can actually buy stuff, so I'm gonna go shopping real quick and be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So, here we have uh, a number of things to buy. Magic wands, of course, are old. I mean, Tricky started with that. Uh, you can buy one fire rod if you want. I'm not gonna really bother myself. I also bought one ice rod and an extra thunder rod. It'll come in later, later. Or come in handy later. Uh, we can still buy another Morning Star if you want. We got the Hawkeye still if you need them. I bought one Javelin for later use. I'm probably not going to need it much. And then we got darts here for uh, Pinkie Pie to use. Now, it's uh, a long range weapon with a pretty good battle power. However, the, the Hawkeye is just barely under the damage. And it also has that special quality I told you about where the 50% chance of doing extra damage. So I think the Hawkeye is superior to the darts. Alright, and over here, armor, we got a couple new things, got a tiger mask, uh, it's better than the uh, green beret as far as like strength rating goes and defense, but otherwise, I don't really find it necessary because, I mean, Luna and Scoot don't really need strength at all, at least not right now, for Scootaloo anyway, uh, otherwise you've seen the TR and gold helmet, mystery veil, first helmet uh, that I think can really replace the uh, the, pointed ha the pointed hat and that um, the bard's hat also, uh, makes a really good, uh, it's still the same as it always was, does plus three to magic power and all that. Anyway, Power Sash, worthless. Earth TM Vest, first time we can buy it, but of course we already stole a bunch of them, so we don't need any more. And then the gold barding, but even though it has slightly better defense than the Earth TM Vest, this still has that, uh, you know, that uh, auto safe, so it's vastly superior in defense anyway. So, whatever. And we got an item shop. I don't ever care about item shops, obviously. Unicorn lives in the edge of town. Uh, okay, I'll do that later. Anyway, over here we got the relic shop. And this guy sells this stuff down. We got a number of things, including the berserk ba uh, ring, which we can buy for the first time. But, you know, we all know how useful that is. Alrighty, so... Hmm. Interesting town here. Hey, Lyra. Oh, you still say the same thing. What, are we still considered strangers? I mean, I guess it would make sense. So, yeah, I don't think so. Alrighty then. 
Let's talk to the Elder. Surely the Elder must know something. Mayor, welcome, welcome. You know, like Alakazam, Hocus Pocus, all that jazz. Well, yeah, as long as we're here, let's check out this house. Hey! Doing what? Standing there? Aha! Rarity! Of course! You know, this game is ne does not do a very good job of keeping who's gonna join you very inconspicuous, does it? You don't know what espers are? Yeah, come on! I mean, War of the... What was it called in this one? War of Chaos! That was it. Can't believe I forgot already. I, was, I wanted to say Magi, but... <laughs> Really? I mean, I mean, you did borrow that book from Twilight in that one episode, that one time. Yeah, like I just said, you did read that one book from Twilight that one time about uh, fashion. Wow, Fluttershy looks seriously pissed off. <laughs> That's odd. <sighs> that is odd. Fluttershy's totally pissed off. Sis. Love this music. Hey there, what's up? What did she do, kick her? <laughs> Sweetie Belle. Okay, so there's two characters that they say the name of before we get to nickname them. And again, totally not conspicuous at all. Her voice can soothe the fiercest beast, eh? Huh, sounds like Fluttershy's stare, honestly. So we got Sweetie Belle. Alright, Sweetie! <coughs> well, my voice kind of cracked there. Anyway. A? Magic? Wait a minute. Oh dear. Careful, he normally eats ponies! We're not exactly playing here. so weird how they fit these roles so well. I still have to keep on saying that. Huh. I love how the music stops as soon as she closes the door. How is this like one of the wor Oh yeah, she kind of said something about magic there. It's kind of suspicious. Yeah, usually he bites them. Okay. Well, if you say so, Rarity. Yeah, something weird going on here. Eh, it's alright. What is that? Ch -ch -ch or something? Is that what she's saying? I mean, I don't get that. Woof, woof. Alright, and as long as uh, we're still here... Hey, Rarity! Ah, uh, yes it is, isn't it? Sweetie Belle! Talk! What, you only gotta play for like, what, a minute? And you already miss him? <laughs> okay, well, anyway, as long as we're here, let's raid the house! Because... Over here in this corner, we can get another Memento Band! Our second one of the game! Alright! Whoops. Alrighty. Otherwise, this town's kind of strange, huh? Eh? Hey, it's Twilight's mom again. Cure? <laughs> she looks like she has a super long horn like that. <laughs> cure medicine? Use cure? Huh. That was peculiar. Well. Hey, kid. Sing and draw, huh? Sing, huh? Okay, that sounds cool. What was what? 
Fire? Where? Whoa! What the? Fire? Hey! Wait a minute. Hey, wait, weren't you just, like, down there at the house? Nigga! Hey! Wait a minute. Was that... Still? Well, fine. Don't be that way. Man, ponies around here are so strange. Well, unfortunately, the only thing left to do around here is go to the inn. Because, uh, but before you do that, you might want to unequip Fluttershy, because, unfortunately, that's kind of the end of what she's supposed to do here, so, yeah. Talk about short-lived. Anyway, now that we talked to Rarity, this guy will let us sleep for only one GP, so we might as well. But what the hey is going on around here? Find out next time on Let's Play My Little Pony Fantasy VI. Arrivederci. Hey. Holy! Whoa, what the hay's going on here?